Hi there, wig lover. This is Heather from SisterWigs.com, and today I'm bringing you a review of the Sumatra wig by Belle Tress in the color Mocha with Cream. Now, in full disclosure, this is the second attempt I've made at trying to make this video. I tried to do it yesterday in full sun, and I live in Georgia, which is basically like living on the center of the sun, and so the light was just too intense. It was bleaching out the color, so it wasn't really being presented very well. So um, parts of this video are gonna be from that shoot, but I wanted to show you what this color looks in really great diffuse natural light. It's still plenty bright. This is all natural sunlight, so it's turning my glasses into sunglasses. <laughs> Um, but that's just really a good indicator of just how great this natural light is and the fact that it is natural sunlight. Because if this were indoor light, my glasses wouldn't be doing this right now. Just FYI. And it's just got these really luscious, lovely, big, open, dreamy, glam waves. Like when I first put this one on my head, I went, whew. <laughs> because I liked it so much. It's just very pretty, very old Hollywood. And as somebody who like lives in circle skirts and stuff like that, I really appreciate that. So let me go ahead and show you what Sumatra looks like on all sides, and then we'll talk some set. Super pretty. It's a dynamite, heat-friendly wig. Um, so there are a couple things I want to tell you before we get into the specs even about things you need to keep in mind about heat-friendly synthetics. First of all, they're harder to take care of. Just straight up, they're harder to take care of. So make sure you've got your heat-friendly game plan in place before you buy a wig like this, especially because of the length. This one's going to be kind of tricky to take care of. Just throwing that out there. Um, but the great thing about heat friendly synthetics is that even in really intense light, they're not that shiny, you know? They've got a really nice natural healthy hair sheen, but it's not like crazy shiny costumey looking by any stretch of the imagination. It looks very similar to natural hair. Um, this is a dynamite hair texture, but because it's heat friendly, if you ever wanted to style it with heat tools, you could do so. Just keep in mind that this isn't a perm. So if you change the texture of the hair for any reason, you can't get it back. Uh, you'll have to style this again with heat tools to get it to look like this. So if you really like this texture, don't mess with it. Just kind of let her be because she's kind of amazing right out of the box. Super pretty. Very old Hollywood looking to me, but in the best possible way. So let's talk some specs. Sumatra is an average cap wig. She weighs right around four ounces, give or take. Um, the bangs on Sumatra are about 9.5 inches. I don't want to mess with the curls too much, so I'm just going to illustrate. It goes about to here. Um, the sides are 14. Again, I don't want to disrupt the curl pattern too much because I like it too much. But um, the nape is 12 and the overall length from the top to the bottom is about 19 inches. So I'm going to go ahead and take Sumatra off now so I can show you what the cap construction looks like. All right, so the inside of Sumatra by Belle Tress is wefted on the sides and in the back she has an extended felt nape, but it's not super extended. It's just a little extended, but it is felt. There are no Velcro adjusters though for this wig. She's a bit like a bra strap in the back. Quite stretchy though, as you can see here. We do have closed felt ear tabs, which is great. We also have a 100% hand-tied monofilament top with a lace front. The lace front does have a slight contour to it, which is great. Um, and so there's also a little band of felt in between the, the monofilament top and the rest of the cap, which is also a really nice touch. Um, and for as much hair is on Sumatra, she's pretty light feeling, um, which is really great. Um, that'll make this one a little bit uh, more comfortable as you wear her. Let me go ahead and repart the top of Sumatra here so I can show you what the monofilament features look like. Now with this wig being as long as it is, you'll definitely want to get some anti-static synthetic safe products to use on your hair, um, such as, you know, simply style and silicone serum. I know that's really a mouthful, but that stuff works great. And as you can see, here is that monofilament top. It's kind of hard to see. The hair is really dense up here. And that lace front, I'll show you again when I get the wig on. And speaking of which, let me just go ahead and put it back on for you. All right. Well, now that we're back from that flashback from yesterday, um, <laughs> I'm going to tell you a little bit about this lace front, and then we'll discuss the color. 
it's a pretty basic lace front honestly you know it's pre-cut which is great um, but it does kind of go from side to side without much of a contour there's also a very thick lace front as you can probably tell um, she does have a monofilament side part which I showed you a little bit more in depth in the video again I'm Heather I'm from sisterwigs.com and I'm reviewing the Sumatra by Beltress in the color Mocha with Cream. Our website is C-Y-S-T-E-R-W-I-G-S.com. We spell it funny for a reason. Check out our website to find out more. And uh, until next time, I'll see you in the funny pages. Bye-bye.